Okay, this is Dragon of Eternity, and welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV Dawn Trail, patch 7.0, MSQ, or main scenario questline, or main story questline. In the last video, we went through a seal volcano, and we met Kryl's parents. We found out she was named Maya. And we've had to say goodbye to them. So next on the list of goodbyes is going to be you. An explorer's delight. Kakuya is ready to head to the fourth and final zone. I must say, we, the closer we get to the end, the faster time seems to pass us by. Come, let's head to the fourth and final zone. By now you know how to get there, yes? Yes, we do. Excellent. This time I'd like to quickly check on um, the Meso terminal. terminal. So I'll meet you at the Gate of Remembrance. Come on, everyone. Blueprint Protocol, Volcanic Disruptions... Yeah, disruptions. Perplexing puzzles, endless fun. Well, wishing at the wishing well. Those are all for Aoife current side quests, aren't they? Yeah. Come on, this music again. I'm going to fall whenever I hear an FF9, aren't I? Probably. So this is it. Like before, it will be hard, but we must honor Kakuya's wishes. Oh, Aaronville. As far as I can tell, we still have some leeway with the Meso Terminal. Meaning you can carry on getting to know the Endless in the last zone. Wind's Path Garden it's called, and it's breathtakingly beautiful. That's where your memories are stored, yes? That's right. I left it for last so I could guide you for as long as possible. Very thoughtful of me, yes? Oh, a great idea just occurred to me. Well? What might that be? <laughs> I'll save it for after we've arrived on the other side. See you there. Her great ideas are generally less than great. Hey, Aaronville. As much as I want to grant your mother her wish, I also want to respect yours. When it's all said and done, I want you to be happy. I hope you know this. I know. I know. Oh, Aaron. Kakuya isn't his only mother. She is <laughs> isn't his only mother. Kakuya isn't only his mother, she's his mentor as well. That can only make it harder for him to say goodbye. Let's go. For now, we keep doing what we've been doing. Seeking out Endless and learning what's dear to them. Before I go in there, could I quickly check on the other scions? See if they have any different dialogue. If I can. Oh, it's a long, winding trip up there, ain't it? Uh-huh. There are, where's the FF7 bike? Where are you? Cool. Nebula, Ark, Garland, no. Oh, yeah.
How you guys doing? Uh, same dialogue. Same dialogue. All right. Oh, it was a hope. Now keep Kakuya waiting. I have faith in Erinville's inner strength. It's not. <sighs> could this be. What could this like great idea of Kakuya's be? Bleep loop. Error, error. Verification system. Initialize. Error. User administra User registration confirmed. Greetings and welcome to Wind's Path Gardens, the sanctuary of exploration and discovery. The marvels of the natural world await you. Alright. What's this place going to be like? <coughs> Hoist, lovely. If I could have everyone's attention, I know we have pressing business, but I'd like to say a few words. Before I died, I had two wishes. The first was to see who my Elaneshpia would become. I would say that wish has been fulfilled. Indeed, it has. For the boy who once shunned company has returned a somewhat sociable man, surrounded by wonderful friends. As his mother and mentor both, I couldn't be more proud. As for my second wish, hmm, that was to see all manner of nature that I had never seen before. I hoped to explore every corner of the world and there find thriving life. <laughs> but I didn't even get to see all of Tural, did I? <laughs> Never enough hours in a day, or days in a year, or years in a life. Kafkiwa. Don't give me that look. Though, admittedly, I did go and spoil the mood. Apologies. What I was so poorly trying to work up to asking was this. I want you to help me fulfill my second wish. I have a good feeling about this place. There is so much here I've never seen before, I just know it. We'd love to see it with you. I thought you might say that. Thank you. Winspath Gardens is home to a collection of flora and fauna that once thrived on the continent. Like the rest of living memory, I haven't explored it in earnest. Controlling my vessel demanded all of my attention. But at long last, I'll get to meet the creatures here. Wrap things up with a perfect little adventure. So, shall we?
Absolutely not. We're to grant you your wish, and then what? You leave. You cannot ask that of me. Oh, Alan Nespier. Please understand. I just wanted to end on a happy note. Not only for myself, but for all of us. Better that than a sad goodbye, surely. Sanctuary of Exploration and Discovery. Quite fitting that Kakuya's memories are here. Let's help Kakuya make some great memories. How about we like Kakuya to chase her dreams to the last? Then with your then with your consent, let's begin our adventure. Naturally, while we go about this, feel free to continue befriending Endless, and be sure to absorb the delightful scenery. in you. Ara. What a lovely garden. The scenery here is nothing short of a mer of remarkable. To think that Sveen has managed to preserve it for the endless. I thought those things were some sort of enormous tree, but they're actually sculptures. I somehow anticipated this. This particular garden is called the Blooms of Discovery. Beautiful, isn't it? I suppose we'll find an Elpis flower. It's absolutely stunning. Are they all... And they are all actual plants? They are indeed. These specimens were brought here hundreds of years ago for conservation, as the calamity have pushed them to the brink of extinction. So this zone is like a great conservatory. Precisely, my dear Kryle. Here you'll find flora and fauna the likes of which no longer exists anywhere else. Doesn't the fort just set your heart aflutter? I suppose. I expect like some creatures I encountered outside of Tural may have cousins in this world. While I'm no expert on life and the reflections, it would make for an interesting study to compare them. There you go. Now there's an idea, leave it to my pupil to think up such. Here we have not only a world travelling adventurer and a veteran gleaner, but a pair of Charlene's finest scholars besides. It's a veritable gathering of inquisitiveness, and I'm thrilled to be part of it. Okay. When it comes to inquisitiveness, I reckon I'm a match for both you and Erinville. I, don't, I can't recall the last time my mother was so excited. Some creatures here do indeed appear to resemble those in Eorzea. Such was the case in the first, too. <laughs> Kakuya looks awfully happy, doesn't she? In search of discovery, Kakuya's eyes sparkle in anticipation of discovery. To begin with, I'd like you to scout out the Cindy and report back with any points of note. This would be a good opportunity to speak with the locals. They're bound to be familiar with the area, after all. As a Lenishba, 
Schaefer, or Elena Schaefer? That's not how I pronounce your word. I'm sorry. Suggested it would be interesting to compare the creatures here with those native to the source. I've never ventured outside of Tyrell, so I look forward to your insights. Leave it to us. I've only ever been to Charlene myself, but I'd like to think I know interesting when I see it. Alright. Of everyone, I dare say you've been to most places. I cannot wait to hear your thoughts. Alright. Don't suppose I'll see a scree here? I've been trying to look for one for ages. And yet I haven't seen any. Specimen observing endless. Oh, hello there. What am I doing, you ask? Look at the trunk. See the plants within capsules? These are space this is species that either can't survive in wind's path gardens or would become invasive and disrupt the ecosystem. The capsules recreate the conditions they require from tropical to frigid climes while keeping them isolated. In this way, any and all plant life can be preserved forever, just like ourselves. That doesn't sound good. Is that really a life though? To be in a capsule? Just living? You see a creature wandering about that resembles a tree in Snate of the Twelveswood. The Timbermen. Alright. Slip a bit to the zone, isn't it? Flower Garden appears to be meticulously maintained, if not by Endless and by machines. What a watching Endless. I don't suppose there's a zombie stomer in there, is there? Did you know that even the water here is created using electrope? The initial product is pure, too pure, though. And adjustments have to be made so the composition re resembles what's found in the natural environment. That's just one of the many things they do to create the ideal conditions for those plants to thrive. For these plants to thrive. I don't know what's become of the world outside the barrier, but I should but I should like to visit a lovely spot such as this in real life. Speaking of lovely spots, have you been to the top of the lookout here? It's a great vantage point, and there's even a food stall in case you're hungry. So is this all in a barrier then? Is it like outside of the the barrier here, the, the shards just gone? Was it a number of calamity? Is this all, all that's left of the world? Hmm, I don't know. Terminal gazing endless. My ancestors aren't actually Alexandrian, but hailed from a place called the Conde uh, to Google. FF Conde Petai Petier. Uh, Conde Piet. Com I'm not going to be able to say this correctly, am I? Conde Petier is a settlement of the Dwarven race in Final Fantasy IX. Alright, more references I will never get until I play the game. They had some unique customs there, for instance, when greeting someone. You had to say, Lally Ho! in a spirited manner. Our settlement was also famous for a gigantic tree that grew nearby. It was so enormous that when you stood at its base, the roots covering the ground went beyond the horizon. The terminal here at Wind's Path Gardens is apparently inspired by that very tree. The Leafa Tree, its name was. It may not be real, but it's nice to have it as a memento for prosperity. Hang on, Lally Ho. I have a Lally Ho somewhere. Uh, slash. Lally Ho. Lally Ho! Okay, so I guess there were dwarfs in the... The ninth, too? Maybe? Alright, so... Did I? 
Hang on. Unattuned. Nope. <laughs> I thought I got it, but I didn't. There's really not much after this bit, is there? It's just... It just has to be the last dungeon in Trial, then. Since I guess they threw Heaven's All and Stormblood out the window. For, like, design purposes. Yeah, this is pretty much... Yeah, it's pretty much Shadowbringers and Endwalker. Especially in terms of having the Trial at level... Blank 9. Uh-huh. And then the final zone. Aye, aye. I'm not... How do I put this? I'm not necessarily complaining about it, but... Yeah, that's but. You know, it is... It's come to be expected now. So, like, a little mix-up and things would be interesting. was a beast I had never seen before. While the arbitoriums of Charlene and imitate natural environs, this place has the feel of an exhibit. In that sense, the word gardens does suit it well. Hi, Kakuya. Let's get comfy. Ah, uh, welcome back, Marishnet. Kryle has just delivered to me a most fascinating report. You have some engaging impressions to share, too, I hope. Do I have a choice? No. Do I ever have a choice? Well, well. That is all very fa interesting indeed, but I must say I am most fascinated by the ambulating trees. While there are similar creatures in Urquipatria, could you tell me more about these trees as you know them? The native judge twelve would, where they prey upon even wolves. Oh yeah, they did that in like a 1.0 cutscene, didn't they? There are various subspecies, such as those with red leaves or an old look. They hurl they like to hurl acorns at you. Exploding ones. Yeah, they prey upon wolves. Is that so? To maintain the ecosystem here, I imagine there are creatures that serve as their prey. The management of ecosystems. This calls to mind Labyrinthos, doesn't it? Not? That it does. Unless you wonder, Labyrinthos is a storage facility deep beneath Charlayan that contains a recreation of a temperate climate zone. That such a place exists. Amazing. By the by, did anyone also catch sight of a large scale kin? Wait, what? A large scale, can you say? What does it look like? Nothing I've seen before, but it has a rodent like form and work walks on all fours. If it looks like a rodent, wouldn't that make it a bee skin? No, it's covered in scales. One lot mimic one lot appear to mimic succulent plants. By that I would definitely classify it as a scale kin. Well, it's hard to say for certain without seeing it. Why don't you show me? Very well, it was in a flower field earlier and should still be near. Let's head over then. When we find it, we'll see who's right. The two of you should come along and lend us your opinion. Go on ahead. I'll let the others know and then join you. Hey, Graha and Whoops, matter. Not here. Where are you? This is the area the beast didn't give the impression that it moves frequently. 
<laughs> this is so exciting. Come on and help us find the creature. All right, all right. Ow. You spot a beast resembling the echovore you encountered in the first. That's the one there. I see, I see. At, at a glance, it certainly has the look of both scale kin and beast kin. Let's examine it more closely, shall we? Tell me your observations. Do I have to? It's covered in plant-like scales. That was also the first thing I noticed. I dare say those scales are for hiding in foliage. Foliage. Having studied it, I believe that the scales upon its back are in fact a unique form of hide. Rather than being shed, it grows with the creature. Hmm, you may be right. If we consider that along with its other characteristics, such as its face and hands, it's more likely to be a beastkin, like you said. A physical examination would be needed to confirm this beyond doubt, but I'm but I'm satisfied simply to have it to have seen it. It seems you alone are familiar with the species. Where did you encounter it? The first. The fairy kingdom of the first. Ashna has been to the very edge of existence. She has seen life that others could only imagine. Amazing. Creation truly holds no end of mysteries. Oh, how I'd love to see them all. The life beyond the, star the bounds of our stars. And plain both. Oh, Looks like we're having fun. Ah, uh, hearing about the unknown never fails to rouse me. I felt the same way when Ketanram and Galoof treated me to tales of their travels. You met my grandfather too. Oh, didn't I mention? Did I already mention it? It was when Galoof came to Tural to investigate the Golden City. I happened to have business with Lal Dojar, so we met in Tuluolal. Little did I know that like the tiny babe he was cradling would return as you. I think that our paths are already crossed all these years ago. Not only yours and mine, Eva, Ellen Shaper was there too, you know. I don't remember. It's quite fine if you don't. Come on, show us the baby fussy little bun bun. Do it! It was actually because Galf told me about Charlene that I later urged Ellen Shiper to take up cleaning. My fussy bun bun was growing up dour and withdrawn. And it was when I was at my wit's end that I recalled your grandfather's story about gleaning. Seeing the world through their adventures would inspire a change for the better, I believed. I'm sorry I was dour and withdrawn. If you ask me, you still have some work to do. But it's because you're that way that you're with us now. And I, for one, am grateful. Well, let's keep moving, shall we? Now, it's a facility I've been wanting to visit. The Clara Museum of Nature. They're supposed to have creatures that take you on leisure flights. It's just one problem. It seems only one, only three people can ride at one time. Then you and Aaron Mill should go. The rest of us still have plenty of other things we can do here. If there's room for one more. Why don't you come with us? I was going to say, I've already been on a gondola. Then it's settled. The museum is at the bottom of the ramp that runs rest of Laynode Arrow. Come on. Alright. Do not mind us and just enjoy yourselves. We shall explore a little more and then make our way to the terminal. All this time my grandfather was the common thread between us. Look after Aaronville for me. Aye aye.
noble. All the way down the bottom. All right. Come on. Let me down. Don't make me go all the way down this. There we go. Museum curator. Curator. Hello there, come to ride the Mare Wap Piaras, have you? I guess we have. I just like the part of this museum. I must say, I'm curious what's inside. Here is the Claria Museum of Nature. The main building is closed due to the ether shortage, but happily they still offer leisure flights. And these are the fellows that will bear us. How adorable. They don't look capable of flight. <laughs> Come on now, you know better than to judge a creature by its appearance. This will be great. I just know it. A never-ending journey. This is the penultimate quest, isn't it? Kakui is ready to take to the sky on Mera Piara back. Begging your pardon, but this is where you can go on leisure flights, yes? Indeed it is. Bearing you all will be our enjoyable mayor uh, just gonna kill them back. I'm just gonna call them capybaras. Bearing you will be our adorable capybaras, who are specially trained by a Turali friend. Just say the word, and we shall send you up, up and away. And there you have it. Shall we then? Alrighty, go ahead and mount up the capybaras. Fly a said route, so you need only relax and enjoy the view. My guess is that the them cannot fly, but rather their saddles are in beautiful levitation magics. Seems we'll have to trust the theory of ancestral levitational predisposition. In case you are familiar, unfamiliar even, the theory holds that all life forms have an innate capacity for levitational magic. While said magics generally remain latent, they may manifest in the ability to fly. Can I have that? If you're ready, then go and mount up. All right. <laughs> Are these mounts already? <laughs> How accelerating! I'll be damned, they really do fly. Oh, we're going there, aren't we? Hey, the way we're flying information, don't we look like migrating birds? Except for our giant rodents. Speaking of migrating birds, the mullard is where your name comes from. Did I ever tell you that? That I knew, but I learnt it from the shamaness, not from you. A migrating bird can fly anywhere it desires, even across oceans to distant continents. And you've done just that, my clever mallard. I'd thank you not to call me that. Oh dear, is it over already? Time really does fly when you have fun. But um, what a joy to see a living memory from a pie. Yeah. It'll be okay, Aaron. It'll be okay. Ah, that was wonderful, an experience worth saving for the very end. You two enjoyed yourself as well, I trust. It was enjoyable enough, I suppose. From my fussy bun-bun, that's high praise. I'm glad I invited you in Mariashna. Thank you for indulging me. If I could, I'd go for another hundred rides, but I must settle for the one. It's time we were headed to the Aero Terminal. There are still things you wish to do. You'll want to do them now. 
When you're ready, make your way along the path yonder. I'll find the others and let them know the same. Come on, there's got to be something here. Speak what's on your mind. She's only a facsimile constructed from her memories. I understand this. When she's right there, she's al as alive in spirit as I've ever known her. How am I supposed to do it? How am I supposed to erase her? Does she even know how it tears me apart? Oh, Eren. I'll piss off that runner. Now is not the time. You sure win, Spirit. be hard, but let us send Kakuya off with a smile. We saw you from below. It looked like you were having fun. We'll be there for Erinville. It's not fair. Never is, buddy. Never is. Delightful this has been. Not since my journey with the Dawn Serpent have I enjoyed myself so. No, I'm selling it short. This was even better. And that's because I was able to share this adventure with my darling boy. Well. This is as far as I can go. As for the rest... Just... stop. You're doing it again. Deciding everything by yourself, and then disappearing. Ellen Espia, you're my pupil, so you ought to understand. Everything that lives must one day die. And that which has died isn't meant to return. This is the way of nature. Mine is an unnatural existence, and I've suffered it only because I had to unmake this twisted mausoleum. But now that brave souls have appeared to whom I might entrust my mission, I may finally embrace the end. Can't you be happy for me? How could I be happy? I was actually quite scared, you see. Scared that I'd be trapped inside the barrier forever and denied the thrill of discovery for all my days. Your coming gave me courage and comfort, Ellen Eshpia. More than you know. And now here I stand, unburdened and free. In this moment, the happiest of my life. And those feelings will live on. This is something only you can do.
As you wish, mother. I'll continue what you began. You were right, of course. Leaving home has broadened my horizons. I've met my friends and found this place. So I bid you leave your dreams with me. And no, I'll go where you couldn't go and do what you couldn't do. I will. Look at you, all grown up and dependable. Yet with so much more ahead, a world of experiences await you, each a lesson of its own. You may know failure and burning regret, but these two shall become beacons to guide you. So come what may, hold your head high and carry on with conviction. And wherever your journeys take you, keep me close to your heart, will you? I should like to be there to see what I haven't seen. You will be, Mother. Now, run along, and never forget that you're my pride and joy. I trust you all can handle the rest. Take care, and farewell. Damn it. I couldn't have asked for more fulfilling final hours than these. I'm so happy to have met you. You and everyone. Thank you for these memories. And thank you for watching over my own Ellen Ishba. You'll be fine now. I know it. carry on with the hopes and memories in our hearts. Let's see our task through to the end. No more doubts. I will shut the terminal down. We leave this to you, Aaronvel. I, I won't waver. Not anymore. If you're ready yourselves, then so am I.
That makes all of them. All that remains is to wait for the Meso Terminal to become vulnerable when it's about to initiate fusion. And then we strike. Please be advised, we are entering the final phase of world bridging. Repeat, we are entering the final phase of world bridging. The ether of all residents will shortly be replenished. Be at ease, no action on your part is required. We thank you for your patience. Wait, it's already begun? Let's finish this. We won't let Kakuya's hopes be in vain. No time for tears. Just as well. Not a moment too soon. It's as if she's saying she won't let us do as we please anymore. For our time here, we've come to know what it is Fiend seeks to protect. But that doesn't change what we have to do. It's the final quest. Oh, it's the final quest now. Alright, I am going to be saving that for next time, aren't I? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So yeah, I guess next time, I accept the last quest, or the last MSQ quest, of patch 7.0. And I beat the story.